cock a doodle doo. Cock a doodle doo. <laughs> Sultan, you're a wolf, not a cockerel. Please try to remember that. I'm sorry, Master Vlad. Your father wants to see you straight away. That doesn't sound very good. Is he angry? No, he's not angry. Phew. He's furious. He's been reading your school report. But my report's good. Yes, that seems to be the problem. <sighs> Vlad is a nice boy who is a pleasure to teach. Nice. Nice! You're a vampire, Vlad, and vampires are never nice. Not even at Christmas. Dad, I'm not like you. I can't do charming and deadly. No, but you can do pathetic and loser really well. Face it, Dad, he's just not cut out to be a vampire. Me, on the other hand. Ingrid is a born troublemaker who delights in causing as much disruption to the class as possible. Oh, Ingrid. Can't you see I'm busy with the future Count Dracula here? But I'm the eldest. I want to inherit the title. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Countess Dracula. <laughs> Countess Dracula! That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> now, Vlad, I want you to wake up and smell the coffin. Now, promise me. Promise you'll try harder to cause trouble at school. Yes, Dad. That's my point. Robin is moody and difficult in class. He only cheers up when he's dissecting a frog. Please, could you ask him not to do this during maths? Morning. Morning. Where are the long faces? It's Robin's school report. It's not good. Well, we can't all be child geniuses, little Miss Einstein. Besides, only GCSEs, you need to be a grave digger. <laughs> ha ha. Shouldn't you to be up playing rugby and getting badly injured? Come on, I'm hungry. Race you to the muesli. Oh, Robin, why can't you be happy like Ian and Paul? They're not happy. They can cast. Look, Robin, Mum and Dad just don't want you to end up on the streets, having to beg people for money. And my, my dad wants me to end up on the streets making people beg for their lives. You just can't keep away, can you, Ingrid? You're drawn to me like a moth to a flame. Drop dead, Branna. If you think I'm going to stand back and watch you inherit my castle, you're more stupid than he looks. Do you think I like being Count Junior? Dad's waited 600 years for a son and heir. It would have made my life a lot easier if I was born a girl. You know, you really shouldn't say that out loud. I'm going to show Dad why I should be his favourite. I'm going to be the biggest troublemaker this school has ever seen. Opening an umbrella indoors, that's bad. You go, girl. Dad's not going to be impressed by that. Stand corrected. I'm wet. You know, his sister really is quite twisted. I like that about her. Well, don't just stand it. Turn it off! It wasn't us. Do the words red-handed ring any bells? I'm suspending you two until further notice. Looks like I'll be having a word with your father. Won't that be nice? I suppose you think this is funny. Funny? I think it's terrible what happened. I mean, who could do such a... <laughs> you look hilarious. Wait till my dad hears about this. He won't have to wait very long. Vlad's probably telling him as we speak. Vlad? Van Helsing suspended him and Robin over the fire alarm. They're in a lot of trouble because of you. No! I'm guessing the school rang you then. Suspended? Vlad, I knew you could do it, you young hellraiser. Congratulations, Master. I have baked a cake in your honour. You shouldn't have. It's chocolate and pig's blood. <coughs> really, you shouldn't have. Mmm. 
sweet and uh, tangy. <clears throat> I have composed a poem to celebrate your great achievement. There once was a vampire called Vlad, who was terribly naughty and bad. He got suspended from school and learned to be cruel, so now he can fang out with his dad. This is ridiculous. Well, it probably needs a bit of work, but... I mean, this. I don't want to be suspended. I want to learn things. I want to lead a normal life. Okay, oh, anyone. I am very disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Master. I'm just not good with family rows. Not you, him! I'll just be over here if you need me. Oh, Dad, you've got to stop creeping up on me like that. It's all part of the training, Jonathan. A good vampire hunter never drops his guard. You can't be too careful. They could be anywhere. What? You mean like that one behind you? I'm serious. No, listen. I'll need your help later. We're going slaying. You know, Dad, just for once it'd be nice if you said, let's go bowling or let's go to the cinema. But slaying is fun. You call hiding behind some rocks watching the castle all night fun. This is going to be different. The time for watching and waiting is over. Vlad has given me the perfect excuse to suspend him. So? Which gives me the perfect excuse to visit the castle. We're going in. But Dad, they're not vampires. We've been watching them for weeks and the only things we've seen that bite are mosquitoes. Sometimes you have to go with your gut reaction. I know all about your gut reaction. We share a caravan toilet, remember? But, Dad, I'm not gonna let you slay that family. Oh, yeah? Just try and stop me. This is your new timetable. 9 a.m. Fang hygiene, followed by double coffin maintenance. And after lunch, it's hypnosis and flying. What about my friends? If I don't go to school, I'll hardly see them. We're vampires, Vlad. A friend is just someone we haven't bitten yet. The Brenner's master. <gasps> ah, welcome, friends. It's terrible, isn't it? Vlad and Robin getting suspended. Terrible. And I hate to think of all the lessons they're missing. So you're teaching Vlad yourself? Well, I don't like to brag, but I am an expert on most things in life. Please, will you teach Robin? He can't afford to fall behind in his schoolwork. He's doing badly enough as it is. Oh, thank the vote of confidence, man. I'm not sure that's a good idea. These boys are obviously a bad influence on each other. Bad influence, you say? Hmm. Leave him with me. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about Vlad. Why is everybody always so concerned about Vlad? He sounds just like my dad. It's always Vlad this, Vlad that. You've Vlad enough of it. <laughs> I've heard there's a great film on it at the cinema. You should go and see it. You know, get out of the castle. All of you. The whole family. Tonight. Is that your lame way of asking me on a date? No, I'm just trying to be hopeful. Oh, you can help, all right. You can help get me suspended. Now look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. As you can see, the sharp fangs enable the vampire to bite into the neck of their victim and drain them of blood. Ah, but be careful if they've just been trampolining, as it can be a bit... fizzy. Mm. Now, you must be rather peckish after your hard morning study. Renfield has prepared something 
special for you. Wow. This looks posh. Better than school dinners any day. Mmm, yummy. You've really outdone yourself this time, Rainfield. Bon appetit. Garlic. Deadly to adult vampires, but will. Harmless at your age. <laughs> Harmless? On a first date, these can be lethal. I want you to eat one so you're familiar. Of course, this doesn't apply to you. This doesn't apply to you, Robin, so you don't have to eat yours. Uh, uh, uh. Not bad. You should try some. This is all a dream. I'm going to wake up and find I'm back in school. Get down! Doesn't he look lovely? I told him to do it. I'm sure you're very angry and will want to suspend me immediately. Go back to your class. I'll deal with you later. I said get down. But it's all my fault. Aren't you going to punish me? All in good time, young lady. All in good time. your victim is to look deep into their eyes. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable with the word victim. Oh, it's no use, Dad. I'm never going to get it. I keep going cross-eyed. Oh, even Ingrid's mastered this and she's a girl. Look, I'll show you how it's done. You make eye contact and then you draw them in, freezing them with your gaze like a rabbit caught in their headlights. And then before you know it, they're... They're what? Dad? You've hypnotized him. <laughs> no way. You have? What's this? Hello. My name's Contracula La 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 La. How did I do that? You are now a true vampire. Ha, 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 ha. Can you stop that? You're freaking me out. Sorry. I, I mean... Sorry. You do realize what this means? I'm not going to make it as a ventriloquist? No. I'm going to grow up to be a vampire, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to watch all my friends grow old and die. And I'll still be here, flapping around in this gloomy old castle. You make it sound so negative. Vlad, you have the power to hypnotize people. You can make them do whatever you want. Surely that's a plus. It. Why didn't I think of that? Dad, from now on, you are no longer a vampire. You're just a regular dad. What are you doing? This way, for once in my life, I'll have a normal dad and I can be a normal kid. Hmm. You know, this place is a bit gloomy. What it needs is a lick of paint to brighten things up. I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Sunflower yellow. What do you reckon? He used to be dark and interesting. Now he's just like my dad. Pardon me for being selfish. But this isn't exactly a win-win situation for me, is it? He's my dad, and I'll hypnotize him how I want. Thank you very much. Fair enough. But in that case, you gotta do me one small favor. Trying to make a laughing stock out of me. I'm sorry. I don't know what got into me. Ingrid must have hypnotized you again. It's a basic vampire skill. Oh, she's not a vampire, she's manipulative. It's a basic teenage skill. I told you, a good slayer never drops his guard. And I told you I'm not a slayer. Jonathan, whether we like it or not, we're Van Helsings. And it's our duty to hunt down and slay vampires. Don't forget, a family that slays together. Stays together. If you don't want to help me, then fine. I'll do it myself. Number seven should be the right size for the count. But what if he's not a vampire? 
What if he's just some foreign guy trying to fit in and make a new home for his family? Welcome to our country. Wallop, you're dead. That's the point. I'll need these for the family. Oh, this is crazy. Right, that's it. I'm coming with you. I'm going to prove that these people are not vampires and then we're never going slain again. I knew you wouldn't let me down, son. What mallet do you want? Wood or rubber? Pretending to play that. Mum and Dad aren't gonna like this. Elizabeth Branner. Graham Branner. Oh no. You don't mean Mum and Dad. They they having a nap. What? Hello, kids. You had a good day at school? Ah! Looks like you and Vlad have been busy. Hi, Ingrid. Hi, Dad. You just said hello to me. Of course, my puppet. Why wouldn't I say hello to my favourite daughter? Right. What's going on? Nothing's going on. I just thought I'd bring a little bit of sunshine into our lives. Where's Vlad? Oh, he's up in his room watching TV. But you said we couldn't have a TV in our bedrooms. Don't remember saying that. Don't remember much at all, for that matter. Master, what colour do you want next? Sunflower yellow or Daisy Delight. Mm. What do you think, Ingrid? Ingrid? This is the life phase, Zoltan? Yes, Master. I'm surprised the Count agreed to this. He's most unlike him. Well, well, well. Who's been a busy boy, then? I don't know what you're talking about. What are you doing? I believe Mistress Ingrid intends to throw the uh, television uh, receiving device out of the window, which can't be good for it. You've hypnotized Dad, haven't you? You've turned him into Mr. DIY regular guy. OK, yes. I may have accidentally hypnotized him. I told him he wasn't a vampire. I have to say, Master, I don't think that that was one of your better ideas. I just wanted to see what it'd be like to have a normal dad. Someone who didn't want to teach me how to turn into a bat. Was that so wrong? No, I suppose not. After all, he's been a vampire for 600 years. The change will do him good. <laughs> no! What did you do that for? We're vampires, Vlad. Always have been, always will be. You can't change that. I don't want dad to be normal. I want him to make me the princess of darkness. But you could have had a TV in your room. Or you could throw it out of your window. And pizza! I'm going to change him back. And you better not hypnotize anybody else ever again. I know that guilty look, Master. It reminds me of when you were toilet training. What have you done? Robin, this is getting scary. Please change them back. Relax, it's just a bit of fun. Tell that to Ian and Paul. I've never seen them run so fast. Time for dinner, I think. We'll start with the youngest. Do you want first bite? Ooh, could I? I'm parched. Dad, what are you doing? It's me, Chloe. Robin, do something. You're not really vampires. You're just pretending to be vampires. Wake up! Wake up! Robin! Let's get out of here. He's stolen our dinner. The greedy pig. Hey, princess. How's it hanging? Dad, I want you to look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. You know, Ingrid, you really are growing up to be a lovely young lady. Really? 
Look, I've been reading your school report, and I just know you could do a whole lot better. I am here for you. We can sit down and work this thing out. You want to spend time with me? As long as it takes. But you never want to spend time with me. Well, that's all going to change. Come here. I love you, Ingrid. <laughs> I love you too, Dad. Is it sugar plum? This is wrong. Wrong. Ah, that'll be my guest. I've invited Mr. Van Helsing for dinner uh, to discuss Vlad's suspension. Could you let Vlad know he's here? Now, remember, let me do the talking. Can't be too careful when you come face to face with the Prince of Darkness. Mr. Van Helsing. Mr. Count, sorry, I didn't recognize you. You look different. Have you done something with your hair? <laughs> look, I am so sorry about Vlad's behavior today. It's good of you to come see me. Please, please, do come in. Your dorky woodwork teacher's here to see you. Van Helsing. Duh. Oh, no! Oh, this can't be happening. All right, take a chill pill, Vladarella. I'm sure they'll let you go back to school soon. Oh, you don't understand. Van Helsing is a slayer. What? You didn't think to mention this before? Sorry. So, are you trying to tell me that Dad is downstairs having a cosy chat with a vampire slayer? Yes, what are we going to do? Dad won't know how to fight him, he won't know how to use his vampire powers. This is what happens when you try and turn people into someone they're not. Oh, I should never have hypnotised them in the first place. Them? What do you mean, them? Vlad, I'm going to kill you! Mum and Dad are after our blood. You just don't know when to stop, do you? You're worse than a werewolf at full moon. Okay, so I made a mistake. A mistake? Dad, Count Normal, is downstairs talking to a vampire slayer. That's not a mistake, that's fatal! Time for a spot of slaying, son. Wait, Mr. Count doesn't even look like a vampire. Just let me hit him. Is everything all right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> no problem. Ah, welcome. Just in time to discuss our boy's suspension. Who cares about that? We've come for a bite to eat. We've hit the jackpot, son. It's time to break up this little vampire club. You take the girl, I'll take the two guys. I'm not taking anyone. They're not vampires. Look, those two are wearing plastic fangs. You call yourself a slayer. You can't even spot a vampire when he's three feet away. Fine, I'll take them all. Me on my own. I'll do it. Fine, you can go to jail on your own. Would you care to join us? Mr. Van Helsing, we're so glad you're here. We really want to apologize about earlier. That's the spirit, boys. Now let's all sit down and talk about this school suspension. See if we can work something out. Mum, what are you doing here? You and Dad will be late for the fancy dress party. See? The only thing we're late for is our dinner. How's the stir-fry coming along? Uh, it's burnt. Totally ruined. Shame. We'll have to do this another night. Well, that's sorted then. Time we leave it. <laughs> we're not going anywhere. It's time we stop messing about and finish the job we came here to do. Quite right. We need to talk this suspension thing through properly. Now, Renfield, check out the kitchen. I'm sure there's something we can eat. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyone fancy a canopy? Mmm. Tasty. Mmm. You're right. This is delicious. Apparently, they're very good for your blood. Here you go. Eat up. The trouble is, we can't eat garlic. <sighs> Told you. Now, now. You'd be annoyed if I didn't eat what I was given. It can't be one rule for me and one rule for you. 
He's right. We need to set a good example. Garlic eating vampires. This can't be right. What about a piece for me? I'm starving. Oh dear. Looks like I'm the last one. How convenient. Don't worry, Dad. I've got a piece for you. Ah, no. Dry, but not too bad. He ain't garlic. Right, it's been great. I think it's about time we go in. What about the suspension? I was wrong all this time. See, it was a mistake. Suspension over. Bye. Don't be strangers now. We've got to change them back. Agreed? Agreed. 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 Will Mum and Dad still be after my blood? Unfortunately not. They won't remember a thing. Lucky them. My gut tells me I'm right about that family. But my nose tells me I'm wrong. Oh, I'm a rubbish slayer. I don't know. Go and say it. You just need some practice. You're right, son. You shouldn't give up. They are vampires, and I'm going to prove it. Uh, Master, we've run out of ghostly grey. We'll ghastly grey do instead. Well, it doesn't really matter what I think. Vlad can always hypnotize me to like it. I said I was sorry. It was an accident. Yes, well, it's flying lessons next. Let's see how you like it when you accidentally fly into a tree. This is so unfair. Why can't you teach me flying? Oh, Ingrid. Yes, Dad? Get on with it. <laughs> Young Dracula returns to CBBC One next Thursday at 5 o'clock. And tomorrow at 5 to 5, it's The Slammer. And we're looking for one of you guys to be a reviewer of all the acts that you will see on the show. We will give you all the details tomorrow, so make sure you're watching. Now it's time, it's 5.25. Always all the latest news and headlines.